So today on imixandmaster.com slash YouTube, uh, first of all, I wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Um, this is going to be a very informative video on how a, a bigger studio works. Um, with What I mean by bigger is I think you can dictate that by how much we can do with what we have as far as separation. Now this is, uh, this is actually a track out, and a lot of times I do this for hip-hop producers that are looking to land instrumentals with uh, professional artists, and, and they, have, uh, they understand that there's something missing. <laughs> you know, they're like, well, I'm, I'm making these instrumentals and they just don't have the space, they don't have the, the depth, they don't sound like so-and-so, so this is how this gets accomplished. Um, first of all, I want to start at the, the council here and explain to you why this is and how this is. Now, if you look at all these faders, each individual fader has its own instrument on it. Um, a lot of guys don't understand what a track out is, and I'm here to explain that to you. When I'm tracked out, everything is separated. So, you know, I might have a string pattern here, which I believe I do, a uh, synth pattern here, um, a lower string pattern, another low string pattern. So it's here comes a, uh, a high synth part. And then right over here, I got all my kick drum, uh, snare drum, uh, three snares over here. You got a hi-hat up here, or maybe it's over here. But I, I have to become a f familiar with what's going on in this mix. Now... One of the things that I get to do um, that, that happens in a, uh, a professional studio is we, we utilize everything we have. And in this instance, I have a DBX auxiliary. So this is where my DBX compressors are. That's over here on the left. I have a Millennia NSEQ. I have a MU, variable MU from Manly. I have a SSL channel. I have a back CQ over here and I have a manly massive passive right here. What that does for your sound is it allows me to use some of the, the best tools possible to, to create the best separation for your song. So I wanted you to see this. All this is is a controller for Pro Tools. This allows me to control things. Um, I can go in and actually up top here we have we do have different plugs. If I was on a track and I wanted to look at this, I could say, hey, you know, maybe I want to EQ it down here. I don't want to look at the mouse. Sometimes you really got to get familiar with what these, these scribble pads are telling you because, you know, I don't want to mess something up. So, you know, if you're not sure, you know, don't, don't try to use this just to use it. You see what I'm saying? So one of the cool things is, is we can get, there's pretty much pages on the Control 24. So you have your pan, your EQ, your dynamics, your inserts. So if it's not corresponding, an insert could be, you know, a reverb or a, uh, a delay, or it could even be a compressor on the insert. That just, if it's in your session, anything under the inserts tabs, they just separated it at EQ and dynamics because that's two of the biggest things that happens in recording. And that's what all the this nice equipment we have is. You know, it's EQ and dynamics. So the song... We'll let you hear it coming through the console. I'll turn it down because the, the camera's right there and then it's gonna it could be pretty loud. Okay, so you get it, but now here's the other thing that I did. Now, I brought the, the song in, and one of the things that's really beneficial, a lot of producers let me do this, and, and they pay me more, but if you look up here at the session, there is no sequencing. It's just, a, it's everything's there, you know, the whole entire, the whole entire track's there. So one of the things that's great about a controller, and if you, you are a hip-hop producer, and if you've been thinking about something like this, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. This is like probably the easiest way to edit and automate sequence. Why I like doing it this way is it's live. I mean, you're, you're live to a point, and then you can make your, your fine adjustments, but it keeps, you, it keeps you understanding what music really is. You're, you're not just using a mouse and deleting boxes, you know, you're, you're actually taking and you're creating with it. And I'll show you how, how this works. Now, with the mouse, this would be absolutely impossible. You can't do it. So it, it brings this, this dimension, and this is why the Control 24 is so powerful for what I do, because it keeps us entertained, it keeps us intrigued, and, and most importantly, it keeps you creative in the, in the uh, technical parts. So what I was doing with this thing is if I do this, I can put 
Now I could do that over here and I could enable all for writing. But what I'm doing is putting this in write mode. Now anything that I correspond over here, if I wanted to say, okay, I want just the mutes, because that's what I, I do quite a bit. It's just like, you know, taking something out and actually doing your own sequence. We could do the volume faders. We could do a plug-in and actually automate the plug-in. You know, you can do your pan. And you can pretty much automate anything, which is crazy. You see what I'm saying? So once we're done with that, you put them back into read mode. And if you notice as I'm playing this song, check it out, you will see things muting and unmuting. I got a little distortion going on because I actually did another session. I haven't set the uh, the hardware. I'll show you that. See that over here? So you'll see things muting, coming in, coming out. So we're actually automating the whole entire thing, which is an amazing thing. So, so I'm actually taking parts, bringing them in, taking them out, and I'm automating now. The thing is, is uh, you gotta be really careful. Uh, the producer I'm working with, he he loves that that I, I bring this aspect to it, and he wants a tracked out. So, you know, now I'll get into to what we're talking about when we're tracking it out and how you actually do this through hardware. So, bear with me here. Bear with me.